Hello, I'm Catherine Clover, author of The Templar's Garden and producer of Like as the Heart. Since I was a young girl, the medieval world was something that really fascinated me and I was fortunate enough to be able to come to Oxford and study here and I was inspired to write a story set in the period at the end of the Hundred Years' War and then turn it into something more than just the average historical fiction novel, having an accompaniment of music that also helps to tell the story. The Templar's Garden is the first of a trilogy. It's set in England. It's a journey of self-discovery, of love, and mysticism at the time of major changes going on historically between England and France. One of the places the story is set is in New College in Oxford, and the choir is important to Lady Isabel. She hears Secret Cherwis Desiderat by Achachem sung by the trebles, and she's never heard this heavenly sound of these young boys singing, and it's a really life-changing moment for her. The lily white, its purity refined, all that for love remains fully tied to the sacred soul the Lord blesses bright. He bestows no darkness to hinder the sight of his presence so near, his glory in the light that spills forth its warmth and might. Like as the Heart is a compilation album of different settings of Psalm 42. It runs a gamut of emotions from despair to rejoicing and composers have picked up on various different emotions within the text in a variety of ways. On it I try to cover everything from the 15th century to contemporary music. The earliest piece on the disc is by Ockham and then the latest pieces are contemporary works commissioned for this album with Handel in between, Buxtehude, Schütz, Howells, Palestrina, John Taverner. We really have explored lots of different styles. The two new pieces are by composers who both have a connection to New College. Alexander Lestrange was a chorister here and Anthony Pitts was a, was a music student. They write in very different styles. Anthony's piece um, is very evocative of earlier music. Alexander's style is uh, jazzy and soulful. I was lucky enough to find a lovely translation by Sir Philip Sidney from the very end of the 16th century. And what I decided to do was to feature a tenor soloist. It was almost like an uh, interplay or a love song between the, the high voices and the lower voices, or if you like, the female character in the book, Lady Isabel, and the male character in the book, Pear Charles. What happened to Margaret fills me with such sadness, I admitted, my eyes downcast. Why did she have to experience such cruelty in her second marriage? Is what happened to my sister the way all wives are treated by their husbands? Does the Lord wish to see us suffer for our love? I'm afraid there is no one simple answer to your many questions, your ladyship. Our God is a God of love. He does not wish to see any of his children suffer. You must always remember that. The only way there can be love in our lives is to have one another. For there can be no love in the absence of otherness. One of the interesting things about Catherine Clover's novel is that it references music making in the late medieval period and the experience of somebody who hears monks singing, choir boys chanting and so on. And so I tried to make sure that in my setting there would be moments of those textures. So in one of the verses and we hear these soaring trebles, almost as you can Imagine the characters as they, they walk past the chapel and they hear these ethereal sounds going on. For in the hushed sanctity of the arcaded garden, the only thing audible was the distant ethereal sound of sacred music being rehearsed by the boys and men in the adjacent antechapel. Their beautiful high-pitched melodies seemed to float in the air, surrounding him with a welcoming breath of love. New College Choir is the choir for me. Uh, I've listened to them for decades, their recordings. It was a great joy to be able to write for such a fine choir and uh, the treble voices are just of such high quality. I want the audience to feel what I hear, which is this ethereal lightness of sound. There's something very special and particular about the boy treble voice, um, which I think derives from its evanescence. I was lucky enough to be invited to attend some of the recording sessions for this CD, Like As The Heart. And it was back in January 2017, at the beginning of January, in New College Chapel in Oxford. And it was cold, cold, cold. But the choir were on top form and uh, they sounded fantastic. I'm hoping to give both the reader of historical fiction an opportunity to maybe learn about music they weren't aware of, but also the sacred music enthusiasts give them a story that's 
full of passion and love and God's love coming through the words of the settings of Psalm 42. I think Catherine Clover has done a very brave thing here and a, and a, and a very good thing, which is to create not just a novel, but a, a novel album, a soundtrack that's been specially recorded by the choir of New College Oxford to go along with, with the book. So it's a, it's, a, it's a multimedia experience. And what it does is it, it takes the, the reader back uh, not just in their imagination by, by reading the, the novel, but also by listening to, to the album. Ultimately, there is a lot of hope in the story, and it's a reminder that providing just a little bit of hope for somebody else really makes a huge difference in their life, and we should do that for each other.